So let's just settle. Um, try and bring the mind to the same place your body is. Feet f- flat on the floor. So really try and get a sense of those toe pads on the earth, the soles of the feet on the earth, the shoulders are aligned with the hips. And imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. And the head is very slightly tipped forward, eyes are down. If they were open, they'd be looking along the length of the nose to a spot just slightly in front of you where you're sitting. If you are in the regular cross-legged posture, you can maybe prop your knees up with a cushion if your hips are tight. And definitely have something underneath your sits bones to raise you up a bit. This helps prevent us from slumping back onto our sacrum. Take a nice deep breath. And then bring your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp and the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the area around the mouth, the jaw. back of the head, the neck, the throat. Allow your shoulders and your shoulder blades to drop down. And then relax the belly and then all your limbs. Just be aware of the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. If there are any sounds in your environment, just allow them to be there, trying not to follow with the mind. And then just notice what thoughts uh, might be arising. And perhaps you can categorize those thoughts. Some might be memory. Some might be just processing something. A situation. Some might be anger. If you wish, you can just pop those, some of those thoughts, some of the thoughts that aren't particularly serving you very well, pop them on a nice white fluffy cloud and just allow it to float off. And try and be objective about what it is you're noticing in the mind without criticizing yourself, without blocking yourself. Just notice what's there. Once we know what's there, we can do something about it. And we just put ourselves on the bank of our river, watch it flow by, and just take note of the quality of the river this evening. Is it different to yesterday? Is it still, or is it kind of choppy and muddy? And bring to mind some people of your life. So we'll start with the ones we love, the ones we love deeply. And our friends. And then there's those people in your life who are always a little bit difficult. So, you know, sometimes it's sensible to keep a distance from them. Maybe we need to. And then there's those people who are just strangers. Maybe we meet them once or twice. Maybe they were in the restaurant with you yesterday. 
Well, it's always good to remember that at any time, these relationships can change place. Due to, due to our karma, due to our merit or not. You know, they say that if you have a very, very dear friend or a very dear partner, this is a, a lot of merit being good to each other in the past. So I think we'll do this Vajrasattva meditation this evening for all these people of our life. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and by extension, all sentient beings. So I think remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified. And this purification process is basically <clears throat> a psychological one. So we create negativity with our mind so we can equally create positivity instead. So if you could go back to the image of Vajrasattva. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> so the reason to regret, and this is the first of the four opponent powers, is based on our on the logic of karma. We create karma um, with our actions, with our mind. And based on these actions, we have certain results. So having harmed others, we will necessarily experience suffering in the future. We cannot bear the thought of any future suffering that we ourselves will experience. So logically, it makes sense that we would remove these karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering. So you think like this, I regret from the depths of my heart, having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering. I'm sick of suffering. And also regret any anger, attachment, and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again, I'm sick of this suffering, and then think, what can I do about it? Whom can I turn to? So here we come to the power of reliance. So we rely upon, we turn to the Buddha, who we see as a doctor, who has the methods that we can use to purify. And we're not needing Vajrasattva to forgive us. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his medicine, his methods. So here we have beautiful image of Vajrasattva. So imagine something similar to that. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be in that much detail above the crown of your head. And it's a 3D image made of light, radiating light. So just as best you can. Maybe all, all you're able to do this evening is just to imagine a ball of white light, this Vajrasattva. You can imagine this is all your, also your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit if you have a teacher. And uh, you're sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and a moon cushion, has a beautiful radiant face. His eyes are long, shaped like lotus petals, and they're full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left underneath the right. The left is holding a bell representing wisdom, and the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajrasattva, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we have this little section here on compassion. It's part of reliance. So we're relying upon other beings to develop compassion. So we start with those we have harmed and just bring a wish in your mind for them to be free from suffering. And then we think about those who have harmed us and wish for them also to be free from suffering because the harm they've caused us will manifest as suffering for them in the future. So now we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the medicine, doing that practice of purification. And we start with the body, and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends powerful white nectar, like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart, and it arcs around and pours into your crown, your entire body, through your crown, filling you completely. And it keeps pouring into you until it 
forces out of all of your lower orifices, all the harm you've ever done to any living being with your body in the form of inky liquid. And this pours out of you and disappears into space, not one atom left, as you recite the mantra. Ambajusafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajusafa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajima Mimutsa Vajabawa Mahasamaya Sata Ah Hum Pe Ambajusafa Samaya Manupalaya Vajusafa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Supokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dina Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta meboa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajra mami mutsa vajra bawa mahasa maya sata a hum pe vajra sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dina meboa sutokaya meboa sipokaya meboa anarakta meboa sawa sidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum so be delighted that all the harm you've ever done to any sentient being with your body is completely purified and think there's no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And next is a purification of the speech. And Bhajrasattva very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and it arcs around and forcefully enters your crown and fills your entire body, except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech which overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can just imagine all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech and lying and talking badly about others behind their backs. All of this is purified by this powerful nectar filling you as we recite the mantra. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sutokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa, Sutokaya Meboa, Sipokaya Meboa, Anarakta Meboa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Mahasa Maya Sata A Hum Pe, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, 
Dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan, sawa tata gata vajrama me muta vajrabawa mahasamaya sapa a hum pe, and bhajra sapa samaya manupalaya bhajra sapa dina patita, dida me boa, suto kaya me boa, supo kaya me boa, anorakta me boa, sawa sidi me piyata sawa kama sita me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sapa A Hum Pe Ambhajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Tidu Me Boa Suto Kaya Me Boa Supo Kaya Me Boa Anurakta Me Boa Sawa Siddhi Me Piyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Me Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sapa A Hum So I feel happy that your speech is now completely purified and it's not possible to do anything but benefit others with your speech, including yourself. So next is the purification of the mind and Vajrasattva very compassionately sends light this time from his heart and this arcs around and enters your crown and fills your entire being. So it's the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you flick on the switch, the light in the room dispels the darkness. So it's the same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart hits your heart chakra, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, all the attachment and neediness and anger and violence and depression and bitterness and grudges, all of this jealousy, resentment, instantly dispelled. Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Satwa A Hum Pe Ambajasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Tidu Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrabawa Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Sipokaya Mebawa Anurakta Mebawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajrama Mimutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe. So again, be delighted that all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are completely purified. And think now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So next is the purification of even the imprints of negativity of the body, speech, and mind. So you can imagine 
Vajrasattva sending light and nectar that pours into you, fills you completely and eradicates even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from the mind. Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sepokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawasidi Mempi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hom Pe Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sepokaya Meboa Anarakta meboa sawasidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajrama mimutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida meboa sitokaya meboa sepokaya meboa anarakta meboa sawasidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hom Pe Ambaja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anarakta Meboa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hom Pe Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta Meboa Sawasidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe Om Bajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Meboa Sitokaya Meboa Sipokaya Meboa Anurakta meboa sawasidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me sitam shriam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagawan sawa tata gata vajramami mutsa vajrabawa mahasamaya sata a hum pe ambaja sapa samaya manupalaya vajra sapa dina patita dida meboa sitokaya meboa sipokaya meboa anurakta meboa sawasidi mimpi yatsa sawa kama sita me Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa Mahasamaya Sata A Hum Pe. So now feel you're completely purified and there's not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to your enlightenment have been removed. And so now we come to the power of resolve and this is a really crucial part in the a part of this purification process is because we just have to decide that we're not going to harm. Well, we'll start with deciding that we're going to refrain from harming. So when we see an ant crawling on the picnic blanket that we happen to be sitting on, rather than just turning a blind eye, knowing that if it stays there, it could get harmed, we might think about instead removing it putting it on the grass or putting it in a bush somewhere, just for example. So just think about something you'd like to work on. So in a way, inaction around uh, an insect that you see might be struggling in the house, wants to go outside, um, ignoring it is also... Um, probably a little bit maybe negative karma because it's out of this motivation of laziness that we can't be bothered. It doesn't take much for a glass and a piece of paper to put a spider or a fly or whatever outside. So we're just thinking about others, taking care of others, and also taking care of ourselves. So we can take care of others. So Vajrasattva is delighted with us and wanting to merge with our minds, melts into white light and absorbs into all of us through our crowns. So think, if you have a teacher, my guru's body, speech and mind, Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing. So next we do a little meditation on emptiness. So we can think, like this, an emptiness 
there is no I, the creator of negative karma. There is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness, just place your mind there for a little while, and you can think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. And you can also think the way things are appearing to me may not necessarily be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created this evening doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma I've created from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. And so for those of you, again, as we've been doing lately, for those of you who do have a uh, have teachers, so you make a strong request in your heart for them to live long. So we think about His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and then think for Lamza Parimbashe, we make strong prayers for his reincarnation to be found, the unmistaken reincarnation to be found. And then for any other of your teachers. So if you have the long life prayers, you can say them. Uh, individually after we've got off the Zoom. All right, everybody. Lots of love. And I will clarify with Venerable Dondrup. It'll probably be the 15th. And he did talk about a whole day workshop, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm not sure you guys might get bored. But it, would be, it wouldn't be a whole day. It would be two sessions of two, one and a half to two hours each. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. So, if you think we need that much time, I'll um, I'll go ahead and look at. Oh, there's two thumbs up from. Okay, <laughs> it's might have to think a little bit. Okay, <laughs> all right, everybody, lots of love. So we've got meditation one hundred and one on Friday, and I'm not sure I have. It's just the same course as we did a few months ago, but I think what I could do is maybe have a little look at it and see if we can make it a little bit more interesting for those who've already done it okay maybe we can just include some more actual meditation practical practical meditation rather than um all the teaching that goes kind of behind it because for those of you who've done that course already you probably don't need it again so anyway uh we'll we'll work out something and please join if you wish all right lots of love everyone good night and Thank i'll you, see everyone. what's tomorrow Fra Friday. Oh, okay. We have our morning meditation. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Thank <laughs> you. Good night. Sleep well. well. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.